everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be filming a design a website with me in Adobe XD. So this is gonna be a template design that I'm going to develop and show it. Um, and this template is specifically for coaches or done for you service providers. And I'm doing this just because there are quite a few coaches in my audience on Instagram already. So I think that this could be really useful for them because I know that not everybody is at the stage in their business where they can afford a custom designed website. So this is a good alternative, which is a lot more inexpensive and it still gives a really nice design and you're able to customize some elements of it yourself. So, I thought I would film how I do it in XD um, and kind of take you along on the journey with me. So I've done a bit of research into what I need for a coaching website. I've written it down here and I've done a little bit of a sketch here. <laughs> it's not the best sketch in the world, but it just kind of gives me an idea of what I want to create when I get into XD. Before we jump into the video, if you're new here, my name is Shah. I'm a branding and web designer based in the UK and I would love it if you subscribed and if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, if you wanna see me design a website in XD, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're currently in XD now and what I'm gonna do is stretch this out a little bit and I want to have a kind of header image for the first section. So I'm gonna add a rectangle here and just spread it across the page. So I've already gone through and had a look at some images um, last night that I could fit into this web design template. If you are wanting to know, I find my images from Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. I will add it into the link below, but it is a really good um, free kind of stock imagery site. When working with website templates, I think it's really good to use free stock images just so that you don't have any issues with licensing. So with this website, I definitely wanna make it minimalistic, but not too simple. I kind of wanna have fun visual elements as well. Um, but the whole tone of it is very calming and simple, which I personally like and I design that kind of style anyway. So I'm trying to pick a very subtle kind of background image, um, I think. I do like the shadows in this one, so I might see how this goes. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. What I think I'm gonna do, because I don't want this video to be like hours and hours and hours long, I think I'm going to speed up the process a little bit and go section by section and kind of um, explain to you after each section what I've done. So I'm gonna go and design the first section and get back to you. Goodbye. Okay, so we have finished the first section, which is just kind of like the introduction and the banner image. Um, so I've done a little bit of a layering because I like how that looks. Um, I've kept it very, very simple and minimalist and used kind of calming colors. So the first bit is kind of like a call to action, a little hypnosis about what the coach does. Um, and then an area where they can learn more about them or they can link it to maybe one of their courses. So I'm gonna jump into the next section and then talk you through that as well. Goodbye.
So I've worked on a few different sections. Um, the first little bit is a call to action about working with them. So you can give a brief little hypnosis here about kind of what they can expect to get when working with you. Um, and you can give more of a description here. Um, and then once you click here, obviously it will send you to a different page with all the different options that you could work with the coach. The next uh, little section I have here is um, the their latest program. So a lot of coaches um, obviously have like different programs that they come out with. So I've decided to put kind of like their latest program here and how they can apply. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add a little bit more of a space for a description here, but I'm thinking that if they click on this link, it will take them to a page, a landing page for the specific program. Um, and obviously these pictures, they can change out to whatever relates to their program. But obviously if they wanted to use the images that are already in here, they're all free to use. So they're welcome to use those. And then the last little bit here that I've made is for the their freebies. So this is a good way to kind of capture people's emails. What I'm gonna do is build out the rest. There are a few sections um, that I have left and then I will get back to you at the end of the video. We have officially finished the website now. So I'm gonna walk you through it and talk you through my design decisions. So, um, so we've gone through the first bit, we've gone through the call to actions. Um, so this section is all about working with the coach, the latest program, downloading their freebie, and then I've added in a section about themselves. So you can see that I've incorporated some elements from different sections and that is just to tie it all together. Um, one thing in design, especially website design, is that you wanna make it look very cohesive. And a great way to do that is just by tying it in with the other sections. Um, so this is what I've done. So I've made it very easy to read, very digestible. Um, as much as I do love designs where there are a lot of things going on, sometimes it takes away from the functionality a little bit. So I wanna make sure that this one is very easy to read, um, easy to scroll through, and kind of each section is very visible what it is. So that's the About Me section, um, and then there's a little link to kind of a page more about them. And, and then testimonials, obviously testimonials is super important, especially when it comes to a coaching business. And I think pretty much every business, people are inclined to make a decision whether or not they wanna work with you, depending on what people have been saying about you. And then I've got the Instagram section. So where you'll find me, follow me on Instagram. I've got that um, there. And then obviously the footer. So this is it as a whole. Now, if you wanna export it, 
to your client. So this is a template, so obviously I'm not sending it to a client, but if you did wanna send it to a client, you go into the share settings and then um, you could either pick design review. So this is really good if you want the client to give you some feedback. They can easily pin feedback to wherever it is on the website they want changed. Um, or you can also do a presentation, which gives them what it will look like when the site is kind of published. Now, there are some things that you can't really do in XD. For example, I would probably want some of these to be moving imagery. I'd want maybe some of these images to move or be GIFs. Um, even this could be a GIF. The uh, about me, I like to add some like movement in the website so it's not so static. Um, and you can't really show that through XD, but what you can do is just explain that to the client elsewhere in an email saying what you envision each section to look like once it is developed. Um, another thing that I want to be moving is this client testimonial section. So it will be swiping automatically through all of the testimonials. Okay, anyway, back to the presentation setting. So what you do then is create a link and it will create the public link for you. And once that is done, it should spit out a link. Okay, so here is the link. So you click on that and it will take you directly to the um, website. So this is what it will look like. So it gives the client a really good idea of the finished product. Um, and it also allows you as a designer to see things on a bigger scale. So this kind of gives me an idea it, of what it's gonna look like and it kind of sparks new ideas for me on the changes I wanna make. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I actually really, really like it and I can't wait to develop this on Show It, which is where I develop most of my websites, if not Shopify. Let me know your thoughts. I might make a video on how I turn this into a Show It website for you to see the process. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment down below and what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next video.